Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this special request RPG Maker MV tutorial for Belladonna Craven, I'm gonna help her or him create how uh, to make your weapon uh, whatever element you want and whatever name you want from the beginning. So Belladonna is asking for a way to have the player start off with a weapon that's gonna have uh, the element that the player once and uh, the name that the player wants right from the beginning so this is like an extension tutorial uh, this was a comment from the how to name your items uh, tutorial so you're gonna need those same plugins that you were uh, you would need in that uh, tutorial and what you're gonna need is the command input plugin and you'll set this up with a variable so you're gonna put your uh, your text variable a number variable that you're not using like a higher number like 211 or 311 or you know even one if you're not using one but you're probably going to be using one set the max characters to whatever you like it could be up to 18 so I have decided to go with 18 um, set the image used to false unless you want it to overlap unless this plugin's been updated um, right here you can say name your sword instead of gear name your sword we'll see if that works without the quotations remember we're gonna put some space right here because it's for some reason it needs it we'll see how this works um, you're gonna need Yanfly's uh, item upgrade slots. So you're gonna need the Yanfly core engine. You're gonna need the Yanfly item core and the Yanfly expansion item upgrade slots. I'll put a link in the description below to where you can get all of the plugins you need in order for this to work. And uh, you won't have to do anything uh, with uh, these plugins except you know install them and get some uh, some uh, note tags. So you'll go to the help file to get all the note tags you need. But I'll just show you the ones that you're going to be using. <clears throat> so first thing you're going to do is you're going to set up your item. And you want to give your item uh, two upgrade slots. So, <clears throat> Or your weapon, I mean. So your sword, you're going to give it a, a notation here. You're going to give it a open bracket, capital U on upgrade, space capital S on slots, colon, space two. Because you're going to need one for the name of the sword. And you're going to need one for the element of the sword. Uh, you could make several different uh, combinations uh, enchantment items and give it one upgrade slot so this can actually be one if you do it a different way but uh, I've decided to go with uh, the element upgrade item itself and then the name item itself so let's go to those items those upgrade items now to make the enchantment uh, items what you're gonna be doing is uh, give it a name a description uh, an icon set this to whatever type doesn't have to be key item whatever price um, you're gonna make this not consumable because we're not directly consuming it it's gonna be consumed through the plugin itself so it, you don't want the player to actually use this one so in, in order to make sure the player doesn't accidentally use it and get no effect out of it we're gonna make the scope of none and the occasion of never because it'll be consumed through the plugin but not directly so you're gonna make one of these for each element and you're gonna use the note tag right here so if you want it to be that it's only designed to use with that sword then you're gonna go to types and figure out where your swords are at and we can see that sword is two so your item here you would go upgrade weapon type two you would put two here if you put zero then it could be on any weapon uh, then we're gonna do the actual uh, enchanting uh, effect itself or upgrade uh, so we're gonna do a, a brackets capital U on upgrade space capital E on effect close the brackets we're gonna do a capital E on eval with a colon and a space we're gonna do item dot traits dot push then we're gonna open up a uh, parentheses and then the, the brackets <clears throat> and then quotations so all three of those and then we're gonna type code and then in the quotation with a colon we're gonna do code number 31 with a comma then we're gonna put a space and another quotations we're gonna do data capital I on ID close the parentheses and uh, I'm sorry the quotations <clears throat> and then a colon with a space and a two with a comma then the final thing we're gonna put in is parentheses uh, or quotation value quotations and then a colon space one in the bracket in the quotation uh, and do a semicolon for an inline <clears throat> I'm sorry this isn't a quote I keep mixing these up this is the quotation this is a parentheses so make sure if you're watching it you can see which uh, you're supposed to put in you're not going to use any prefix so you would just get rid of this prefix in my game I'm using them so I'm not going to get rid of it but you would 
take out the prefix for this uh, because if the, the player uses the name enchant first and then the element enchant then it's going to put this prefix uh, after or before the name that they input so get rid of the prefix then you're going to close it off with the brackets and a uh, line forward slash capital U on upgrade space capital E on effect close the uh, brackets <clears throat> and if you want to give it a color you can give it a text color right here and then copy this whole thing paste it right here and then all you're going to do is change the the data ID now the ID we're using uh, it's going to be different for each element so we can see on this first one for flaming I'm using data ID 2 because if we go to types and we look at our elements we can see that the type 2 for our element is fire so if we go to the frosty one we're gonna see that data ID is 3 that's because our ice element is 3 so you can see what's going on here you're just gonna change the data ID <clears throat> to the number of the element do the same thing for all of them. Everything's going to be the same except, you know, you're getting rid of the prefix. And then if you want to specify a weapon type, you can put the number. And you're changing only one thing, just the data ID number. Do that for all the elements you want. And then you're going to do one more special enchantment for um, the naming enchant. So what we're going to be doing <clears throat> is using the command input to store a string into a variable instead of a number. And then we're going to change the name of an item to that variable. So you have to do a plugin command first, but we'll get to that in the event. So here's the the uh, the upgrade uh, change name item. So we're going to do upgrade effect in brackets with space and a capital E on uh, effect, capital E on, on upgrade, capital E on eval colon space item dot name equals space dollar sign game capital V on variables dot value. Now this number that you put in here. In my case, it's 111. It's going to be the, the number that you're using on the command input plugin. <clears throat> so make sure you do close it off with parentheses and an end line. Close it off with the forward slash upgrade effect with brackets and text colors optional. But I'll go back to the plugin command for the command input. And we see that we had 111 in that item name. So in my command input plugin, I'm using the text variable of 111. So whatever number you put here, is the number you're going to put into your uh, your note tags for that uh, naming item, the naming weight chisel enchant. <clears throat> now that we've got our item set up, we're going to start uh, on our event. So we've got our sword that's got um, upgrade slots. We've got our items for enchanting the elements, and we've got our items for enchanting a name. That's all you really need. Now we're going to make an, our event at the beginning of the game or whatever you want to award, uh, give the player the option to select their element of choice on their weapon and what they want their weapon to be called. So we're going to start off with uh, the text. So we're going to say, uh, show, uh, show text, what do you want your weapon to be named or called? <clears throat> then you're going to insert a plugin command. So the plugin command you're going to put is uh, on tab 3, all the way under advanced, so, uh, select plugin command. And what you're going to put inside of that plugin command is... Uh, all lowercase enter underscore text that's all you need that's gonna bring a menu uh, it's gonna pop up a box and the players gonna have a chance to input what they want their weapon to be named um, then we're gonna show text again say tell the players select the element for your starter weapon then we're gonna show choices whatever elements that you have in your game you can have multiple show choices if you're using Hemiworks's plugin or Yanfly's plugin either or for uh, multiple choices uh, or larger choices so Hemiworks has one it's the one I've been using for the longest time but I'm also using Yanflies now his came out a little bit after that so large choices for Hemiworks and Yanflies uh, extended uh, message pack one with the message core will do the same thing so you can basically amend this one so after the first set of six show choices you can insert another set of show choices and then like set up your next elements venom fusion etc etc um, and then it'll just try it'll put both of those show commands into a large uh, a show uh, show choices into one large list that the player can select from really really neat um, so inside of our show choices we're gonna have to cancel disallow that way they have to select an element and if they don't if they accidentally hit escape they, they're not like out of luck you know what I mean they can't press escape they're stuck in the command and they have to pick something so we're gonna default choice whatever one you want but the cancel has to be on disallow so um, that way they have to pick one so then you put all your elements in here 
<clears throat> like I said, you could set another uh, group of show choices. You could have as many as you want. It'll just put them on a big list. Uh, underneath uh, each choice, you're going to uh, change items. So that's right on uh, tab one, change items. And award that first enchantment item for the element type. So the flaming enchant when they say fire, the frosty enchant when they say ice, thunder, shocking for when they say thunder, and so forth. Uh, underneath all of that, you're going to change items and give them the sword. You're going to change items and give them the enchant for the the naming enchant. Then you're going to select a weapon in the. Uh, you're going to show uh, show choice. Uh, I'm sorry. You're going to show text. This metal music got me distracted, man. <laughs> Um, you're going to show text to let the player know that they have to select the weapon in the items menu to inscribe the name and the element. Um, that way the player has an idea of what they're supposed to do. So let's take a look at this in game and see how it's going to play out. What do you want your weapon to be called? We're going to call it the Blade... Uh, Blade of Death, the Blade of Doom. Yeah. So, select the element of your starter weapon. We're going to say Thunder. Select the weapon in the items menu to inscribe the name and element. So, let's go to our items and our weapon. Um, of course, if uh, you can also... Uh, start start them with the weapon uh, inside the character menu um, instead of awarding the item and I'll show you how to do that after that so we've started with this sword but we're gonna ignore that so here's our sword we're gonna chant our sword and we've named it the the uh, the blade of doom now this is why you want to get rid of the prefix because if you leave the prefix when they use the shocking enchant it's going to rename it into the Shocking Sword. See that? If you get rid of the prefix, it won't do this. So let's get rid of the prefix on the Thunder Blade. Or we'll go with Fire. So we're going to get rid of the Flaming prefi Prefix. And we're actually going to start Arturus with the regular sword. And in the event we can get rid of the changed weapons. So they're actually starting with the sword, a blank sword. We're gonna call it Blade with a dollar sign. Select the elements for your starter weapons. We said fire, so we'll get that one. Select the weapon in the items menu, okay. So now we have our sword. We're gonna enchant it. Let's see if it works right. We've got our naming way enchant, so now we've set it to blade. Okay, so there's a problem there. Um, if you, uh, hmm, how could we get around that? What if we make one enchant, one enchantment item, um, because if you were to enchant the element and then the name, it would work fine. But what if the player does it that way? It's just going to say sword. So what we can pro uh, probably try to do is change our items so that our uh, our enchantment effect also names it. Yeah, let's see if that works. So what we're going to do is take this eval from our naming way enchant. We're going to copy that. We're going to go to our flaming enchant. And basically we'll put this on all of our starter enchantments. So we'll have two evals. So we're going to push this ID first, and then we're going to change the name after that, because it's going to read from top to bottom. And let's see if that works now. And instead of uh, awarding this naming way enchant, we're just going to have them award the flaming enchant or the frosty enchant. And you would add that second eval to all of these other starter ones as well. Let's see if it works now. We're going to call it the SSLLTT Percent Sword. Perfect name. Fire. Item. Weapons. Now, is it going to work? It works. So that's how you would do it. You would just set both of those enchantments into one, and it's actually a simplified version of it anyway. So hopefully you like this tutorial, Belladonna Craven. 
If uh, anybody else has any special requests, put them in the comments below. If you like this video, please like, favorite, share, and subscribe. Um, thank you guys for all your support. And of those of you who, have, who are also got sick, um, hope you guys feel better. I'm starting to feel a little bit better. I still have a little bit of a cough, and there's a little tickle in the back of the throat, but it's going away. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys for sticking with me. If you have anything uh, you would like to see me make, let me know in the comments below. We will see you guys in the next tutorial.